A group of friends from Fast School of Management got together on Independence Day and started wondering about the Green Revolution and how it affected Pakistan's economy. One of the friends wanted to learn more about the history of Pakistan, so she started asking questions about the Green Revolution. A part of discussion on Green Revolution was recorded and is shown ahead. मस्जिदों या मंदिरों में जाने के लिए so a tie now according to the government statistics is that agriculture is a vital sector of pakistan's economy and contributes majorly to gdp so how did the agricultural revolution happen and how did it change the society that's a very valid question actually the green revolution started back in the 1960s and it was not something that happened in the course of a year but it took place in two separate phases the first phase started back in 1960 and it lasted till 1965 the main focus was on irrigation facilities namely tube wells when it comes to the second phase it started in 1965 and went on till 1970 an impressive growth was shown when the expanded irrigation facilities were supplemented by the technology package of hiv seeds chemical fertilizers etc As far as production growth and output are concerned the green revolution proved to be very successful but during this time there were certain issues and repercussions which took place which proved to be very significant to Pakistan's history Since Pakistan took a great step towards green revolution and introduced tube wells and tractors for the ease of farmers were there any problems or consequences of this was there any backlash and if yes then what was its impact on the economy Yes there were by the time the government realized that Pakistan's agricultural economy is sinking they took the necessary steps by providing innovative ways of farming they constructed the tube wells imported large tractors and hiv seeds to increase production this did help in overcoming the problem but some new problems were originating and they had long term effect on us in case of tube wells 91% of them were constructed in central Punjab reason being NWFP and Balochistan has stony mountainous terrain so it was hard and expensive to construct tube wells there while Sindh has saline waters which is unsuitable for irrigation additionally 70% of the tube wells were under people with more than 25 acre of land In case of tractors Pakistan was able to import them due to credit from ADB and overvalued exchange rate Most of the tractors were owned by people with over 100 acres of land and mostly in cities such as Multan, Lahore and Bahalpur. The introduction of tractors was only beneficial for resourceful farmer. Thus this caused interregional disparities, humongous difference in economic status and the ability to borrow of a farmer. If Pakistan was so quick to introduce and adapt to the new system then it should have been one of the best agricultural based economy but it's not. Why is that so? Yes per se the steps that were taken for Pakistani agriculture should have led it to become the best agriculture sector in the world but clearly that did not happen whenever a new government comes they make their own policies and rules and these new rules have their own consequences that are seen after a long time similar was the case of green revolution at the forefront it was a great initiative that improved the productivity and efficiency of farmers but the thing was it also had its own negative impacts that were not brought onto the forefront the biggest negative impact of green revolution which impact can still be felt was the regional and income disparities pakistan is a poor country money is a big problem for pakistan and a country that is already suffering from poverty had to face income disparities that were increased by green revolution the major reason for these disparities was the focus on larger lands all the government's policies were targeting larger lands greater than 25 acres so the late rich farmers the rich landlords were taking full advantage of the tube wells the tractors and the hiv technologies and this helped them increase their productivity and profit but what about the poor landowners they were being overlooked and rich farmers and landlords were becoming richer which caused a lot of intra farmer disparity this was also the reason green revolution was called a elite favoritism strategy furthermore when green revolution was being implemented the government's main focus was on punjabi regions like lahore multan sahiwal and these were the major reason regions that prospered at this time 
but regions like Sindh, KPK, Balochistan and regions in the East Pakistan, these were being overlooked. So it would not be wrong to say that Green Revolution did not increase the Pakistani agriculture sector, but instead we can say Green Revolution improved the agriculture of some areas of Pakistan. I am sorry I don't exactly understand the difference between elite farmer strategy and capitalist development. Can someone please explain that to me? So elite farmer strategy and capitalist development are two different views of different observers. Observers like Akmal Hussain and Hamza Alvi believes that the Green Revolution was an elite farmer strategy, means that it was the large landlords and large farms and farmers who had land over 100 acres, they adopted the new technology, were dominant in the reaping the fruits of Green Revolution, and it was possible because of their financial power and superior excess. They made the greatest progress in the direct of farm mechanization. While some observers believe that the rapid agriculture growth and green revolution was led by the new breed of productive middle class farmer, these farmer had been created by the shift in the political power under Ayub Khan through his basic democracy schemes, in which power shifted from landlords to big landlords to middle class landowners. They were the one who produced the revolution in Pakistani agriculture and were considered the most powerful and independent factors in the political system. But despite all the differences, the observer do believe in the deepening capitalist relation. Number of attributes particular to capitalism begin to dominate in agriculture sector. For example, first of all, there was increase in leasing in of lands that is large farmer take back in their land. Secondly, more and more land was resumed for production due to large scale of tube wells and tractors. Furthermore, Farmer begins to hire wage labor and due to increased income, farmer began to purchase more manufactured goods. And lastly, as demand was increasing, market began to emerge around small towns. Thank you so much for explaining it so well. I am wondering after all of this, were there any economic or political effects of Green Revolution in Pakistan? The social effects of Green Revolution includes displacement of labor, increased rural to urban migration, increased consumerism, the emergence of small towns near agricultural areas. Moreover, the introduction of mechanical and chemical technology in agricultural sector made farmers take education more seriously. Since Punjab and Sindh are backbone of Pakistan's agriculture economy, so the impacts of Green Revolution were restricted to these areas. However, Balochistan and NWFP missed chance out on Green Revolution because of water and technology packages. Moving on towards the political consequences of the Green Revolution. As people link economic conditions to political conditions, Pakistan People's Party won in the heart of Green Revolution and many observants think there is a higher relation between voting for PPP and the area under Maxi Park varieties of wheat. Its victory was the result of policies of Ayub Khan's reign. In East Pakistan, Awami League won due to the same reason. It was a big deal as Pakistan never experienced development before. Thank you to all of you for explaining the Green Revolution to me. I am so glad I got to learn all of this.